Uh, Father, my God, once again, Lord, we thank you for your goodness. God, we thank you for your grace. God, we thank you for your mercies toward us. For every morning, new mercies we see. So now, God, as we come to preaching hour, you ask that you speak to me and speak through me. That you would use these lips of clay. Then, God, that you would prepare the ears of your people. That some man, woman, boy, or girl might come running asking the question, what must I do to be saved? So have your way in this place, we pray. That your name would be lifted up. For you said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. So we lift your name on today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and ask it all. And everyone that loved the Lord said amen. 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 amen and amen. To God be the glory. To him be all the praise. We give honor to God, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, in the power and presence of the Holy Spirit in this place on today. To Dr. and Sister Dawn, Reverend Dawn, Reverend Hullix, Reverend Brown. Uh, to deacons, trustees, deaconess. To each of you, my brothers and sisters, members. And visiting friends here, we greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. We're thankful for this choir today. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise for our choir. Amen. We thank you. Musician, we thank you so much for setting the atmosphere. Amen? Amen. And we're grateful for what God is doing. Amen. Uh, we want to look at our text today. Our text, uh, that 15th verse, Matthew 5 and 15. Matthew 5 and 15. The text says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Amen. And if you would allow us just for a few moments, my brothers and sisters, we want to talk to you this morning from a thought or a topic of shine on. Shine on. Tell your neighbor, shine on. Shine on. Shine on. Shine on. My brothers and my sisters, as we continue in this uh, new series of messages, the light light shining series, I want to continue to encourage you, each of you, to make a firm commitment within yourself that this year, in 2015, I'm going to live my life on purpose. Amen. I'm going to live my life on purpose that God might get the glory and all the honor and all the praise out of my living. I'm going to make a conscious decision that no matter what the situation is in my life, no matter what trial or tribulation or circumstance I face in life, I will focus my activities to glorify God in all that I say and in all that I do. All right. I said through it all, through, it all. through the good times and, and the bad times, I'm going to make it a conscious effort to live my life on purpose that God might get the glory. Right. Are you with me on today? Yes, I, I know somebody might be saying, yeah, preacher, yeah, that, that sounds good and all, but you don't know what I'm going through. All right. you, you don't know the difficulties that I'm facing in my life right now. You, you don't know my struggle and you don't know my pain. All right. You don't know the shambles mm -hmm. that my life is in. Right. I, I might look good on the outside, as you do know, some of us come wearing some masks, don't you? All right. I wish I had some help. Everything might, like, might look good on the outside, but you don't know the struggle that I'm facing, the heartache that I'm dealing with in life. Amen. Amen. And I would have to say the truth of the matter is you are correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you are correct. I, I, but there's good news today, my brothers and my sisters. There's good news. I, I don't know your struggles. I don't know your heartache. I don't know your pain. But the good news is God knows. Come on, tell your neighbor, God knows. Yeah, God, God knows. God, God knows all about your heartache. God knows all about your struggle. God knows all about your pain. God knows. God knows everything. I said he knows everything. He knows everything about you. The fact that God knows everything that's going on in your life, that, that alone should give you peace. Yeah, yeah that, that alone. That if you really, if you really and sincerely and honestly trust him, you can say like the songwriter wrote, through it all, I wish I had some help. Through it all, I've learned to trust. I wish I had somebody in this place. In Jesus, I've learned to trust. It means when my days are difficult, when my nights are lonely, when my heart is heavy, I'll, I'll trust. I said I'll trust. 
in the Lord. So it's even, my brothers and sisters, it's even in, through the difficulties in life that, that we allow our reflection to show the world that we are the light. Amen. That we are the light, not because of who we are. Mm -hmm. Are you with me today? But we are the light because we know and we have a personal relationship with the master. Amen. We are the light because we have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes. Anybody with me on today? Yes, yeah, yeah. So as we continue on in examining this text, picking up from where we left off last week, and last week we talked about our reflection, amen? Mm -hmm. We, we want to come to this portion of scripture to inspire you to continue to shine on. Our theme, our theme for the year is letting our light so shine in 2015 that, that the world might see our good works, but they might glorify Glory. our Father which is in heaven. Shine on, my brothers and sisters, because you've been appointed to shine. Mm -hmm. Shine on, my brothers and sisters, because you've been anointed to shine. Yes, shine on because Christ resides on the inside. Yes, you have to shine on. Tell your neighbor, shine on. This word, this word of encouragement is to let you know that the light of Christ was put into you for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor you have a purpose. Have a purpose. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you know I have a purpose, preacher? I'm, I'm glad you asked. It's right here in the text. The first thing that Christ says to us in the text, he says that a candle is not lit so that it can't be seen. All right. right there, right there. And somebody needs to hear that on today. He says, a candle is not lit so it can't be seen. Mm -hmm. what, what, think about it for a moment. Wouldn't it be foolish of us or you and I to take a good candle, All right. well, sir. straighten out the wick, yeah. <laughs> take a good match, yes, sir. strike it against the book, uh -huh. get a nice red hot flame, yeah. light the wick on the candle, then hide the candle. Oh, help me somebody. Or, or, or throw it away. And in doing so, remain in darkness. That, that really wouldn't make good sense, would it? We wouldn't be smart. Wouldn't be wise. No, no, no. First, first of all, you would have wasted a good candle. Secondly, you would have wasted a good match. But, but most importantly, get this, watch this. Most importantly, you would remain in darkness. Okay, wait a minute. It'll hit you. It'll hit you in a minute. It'll hit you in a minute. When, when Christ comes into our lives, he knows just what condition we are in. When Christ enters in our, in, into our life, he knows that we are all messed up. Yes, sir. He, he knows that we have issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Let me sit on this side. Ain't no issues over here. But, but, but Christ comes in. He knows, he knows. that we got issues. Yes, he he knows we got some stuff with us. From the pulpit all the way to the door. Yes, he, he knows what he's coming into when, when, when he comes into us. But he also knows that without him, somebody say without him, without. we would have eternal darkness. But watch this, watch this. Christ comes into us and he lightens us up. Mm -hmm. Somebody ought to shout it right there. I, I, I said he lightens us up. We, we, we're no longer walking in darkness, but now we're walking in his glorious light. He lightens us up. What do you mean? He changes our personality. Yes, sir. He changes our behavior. And for some of us, he changes our attitude. Amen. Oh, come on here, somebody. You, you know, some of us got some problems with our attitude. But Christ comes in and Christ lightens us up. Christ comes into our hopelessness. Christ comes into our despondency. Christ comes into our darkness and he brings forth great light. What do you mean, preacher? You, you just mentioned, we just talked about how foolish it would be to waste a good candle and waste a good match. Christ, my brothers and sisters, he realized that if he had allowed us our own course, if he allowed us to take control of our own lives, you know, there is a scripture that says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. I wish I had some Bible readers in the place today. But the end thereof, I wish I had some help. In other words, my brothers and sisters, Christ wants us to know that our lives are not wasted. Tell your neighbor, you're not a waste. Not a waste. Yeah, yeah, you're not, a, you're not a waste. You're not a waste. It, it does not matter that you've been abused and neglected since childhood. 
you're not awake. It does not matter if you fight demons that seem to overtake you that other people seem to beat. You're not awake. Come on, tell somebody you're not awake. It doesn't even matter. You look in the mirror at a dim reflection. Shell of what you even think you should be. Disappointed in yourself. It doesn't matter. You're not awake. Because, because, because you mean so much to Christ. Because you are so special to him. Because, Sister Lottie, you are the apple of his eye. You are not a waste. Because you alone are worth dying for. He wants you to know that you are not a waste. Because you're not a waste, he's taken his light and he's placed it on the inside. Somebody say on the inside. That you might shine in the darkness of this old world. How many of you know we're living in a dark world? I said we are living in a dark, a perilous world. And do you think it's by accident that you're here today? No. Christ has need of you. He's placed his light on the inside mm -hmm. that you might shine, somebody say shine, shine. in this dark yes. and dying world. He says, he says, you are not a waste. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Christ has given us this light. Uh, he's given us this light. And this light that he has given us, my brothers and sisters, was not given to us that we might only turn it on when we get to church on Sunday. Come on, help me, Reverend Brown. It, it, it's, it's not a light that should only be exposed or seen on Sunday morning. Come on, Somebody say, well, that's when we come to church. <laughs> yeah. But it's when you're not in church that you represent Christ the most. I wish I had some help in this place. This light that he has given us is not meant to be covered up. It's not meant to be hidden. All right. But it's meant, my brothers and sisters, to be utilized when the world can see the light. Amen. It's not meant to be hidden or, or, or reserved for when we get around folk that we think. All right. Oh, come on here, somebody. You, 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 you know how some of us are. We get saved. Then the same folk we used to drink with. Oh, I can't get no real help in this place. Same folk we used to shoot up with. Same folk we used to, you know, jump in and out with. Oh, come on here, somebody. We, we think they're not worthy. He said, no, no, we're not supposed to turn this light out. He, he's giving us this light that we might shine even in those dark places. He didn't give us this light to determine who should see the light. Who, who's qualified to receive the light. Amen. Who, who we think is worthy of receiving the light. Because the truth of the matter is, all of us weren't worthy. All right. I said all of us weren't worthy. If it had not been for the Lord, I wish I had some real folk. None of us be here on today. No, no, no. This light, my brothers and sisters, this light was not supposed to be kept in the closet. Kept in the closet where, where nobody else could see. How many of you know God don't need no closet Christians? All right, all right, all right. That's a, that's a whole other sermon. I'm going I'm, I'm to leave it alone. But, but, but your light is not supposed to be hidden in the closet. Jesus Christ has given us this light that it might shine. That it might shine. Watch this. That it might shine through us. And as this light shines through us, it is a beacon. It's a lamp. It's a, it's a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. It's a source of assistance to help others come to a saving knowledge others. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. In other words, my brothers and sisters, you weren't saved for yourself. Mm -hmm. I wish I had somebody. But you were saved that you might help others okay. coming out of the darkness and come into the marvelous light. Yeah, yeah, Christ did not put this light into us that we might keep this light for ourselves. 
But what the Bible says, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says in 1 John 4 and 11, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Uh, can, can we really love one another without shining our light? It didn't say that we ought to love others who love us. They even say we should love others who are nice to us. All right. All right. Come on, sir. Talked about it in Sunday school this morning. You know, some of us get upset with folk, get angry, talk about the stuff for months, years, and other person go on living their life, ain't thinking two minutes about, but you stuck on stupid about some foolish, okay, that's too hard for you, about some foolishness that makes no, Christ says love others. Same way God has loved us. Shine on in your living. Shine on in your life. E even shine on in your giving. I wish I had some help in this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. We you know we shared today, and, and the truth of the matter is, the redeemed of the Lord. Yes, sir. Those have been set free from the power and penalty of sin. Those of us who have been called out. Those of us who have been given a second chance. Anybody here been given a second chance? Those of us who have been saved by the blood of the Lamb. The last thing we should do is hold anything back from God. Amen. Everything is His. Yes, sir. But now I know, I know we've gotten to a place where we've achieved. Get official. You know we got three, four suits. Seven, eight shoes. More stuff that we know what to do with. And we think we made it. And then we have a nerve to hold back from God. You know, I always say that the truth of the matter is God doesn't have to do anything to us. He just has to stop doing for us. Yeah, God don't have to do nothing to you. He just has to stop doing for you. What do you mean, preacher? Just imagine if you stop your heart from breathing. Somebody would have woke up dead this morning. All right, you'll get that later on. You'll get that later on. Just, just, just imagine if he cut off your air supply. He don't have to do nothing to you. He just has to stop doing for you. Shine on, even in your giving. Mm -hmm. Others might see your light. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, when, when, when you give unto God, you, you're not giving unto God to receive. But you're giving unto God in obedience. Yeah. And then your obedience will bring forth his blessings. Yeah. And I, I was telling this morning, I want to be around some blessed folk. Yeah. Amen. I want to be around folk who God has their hand upon them. I ain't talking about them. I ain't jealous. I just want to stand next to them. Why I want to stand next to them? Because the blessings are going to eventually overflow. And they're going to overflow on me if I'm next in line. I wish I had somebody in this place. Says, shine on. Can I show you something else here in the text and I get out your way? Uh, uh, right there in the text, after Christ uh, tells us that our light is not to be wasted, uh, Christ, my brothers and sisters, Christ goes on to let us know that our light needs to be on display. Amen. Are you praying with me? Amen. Christ says that when a candle is lit, it's not put under a bushel. Right. It, it's not hidden. It's not hidden. It's not placed in the closet. He says, but it's placed or put on a candlestick. Amen. You, know, you know what a candlestick is, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Something to expose the light. Yeah. Something to display the light. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we too, we too need to put our light on display. Amen. We too, my brothers and sisters, need to let others know that there's been a change in our walk. Amen. Need to let others know that there's been a change in our talk. Anybody with me on this morning? Amen. Our light should be on display that even those people we used to run the streets with. Amen. I wish I had some real folk in the household today. They will recognize a difference yes, in your life. The light that is now inside of you, the light that Christ is shining out through you, will attract them. Amen. Because how many of you know what he has done for others, he can also do for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our lights should be on display that others might witness uh -huh. that there's a new tenant 
in this building. Yes, sir. I wish I had some help. Yes, and his name is Jesus Christ. Yes, Our light should be on display. Yes, sir. We, must, we must, my brothers and sisters, we must, we must be mindful, however. We must be mindful. We have to remember that our light is not to be displayed as a symbol of self-righteousness. Amen. You ain't all that. Amen. Come on, tell your neighbor you ain't all that. Tell me, tell me. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on, you can tell me too. Don't be worried. Tell me too. Tell me. You ain't all that. It's not to be displayed as a symbol of self-righteousness. Because our righteousness, the Bible says, is nothing but filthy rags. See, you know, you know what the problem is? The problem why we start getting self-righteous is because we start comparing ourselves to other people. Amen. And we don't pick other people who we think more righteous than us. All right. I wish I had some help. We, we want to pick folk who seem to look bad on the front. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm better than them. At least I'm not doing that. The devil is a liar. Your, your, your righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. Not to be on display mm -hmm. as a sign of purity and perfection. Yes, sir. Because none of us are perfect. All right. yes, sir. I said none of us oh, are perfect. Yes, the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But our light, my brothers and sisters, is to be displayed as a symbol of grace. Anybody know about grace? Yes, sir. I wish I had some help in this place. Yes, that grace, that unmerited favor of God. Grace that looked beyond all my faults. I wish I had somebody here. Grace is supplied all. Anybody here know about grace? Yes, Paul, 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 Paul wrote about grace in Ephesians 1.7. He said, in whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches, watch this, of his grace. Yes, sir. Anybody grateful for his grace on today? Oh, come on. Anybody grateful for his grace on today? Shine on, shine on, shine on. And as we shine on, Christ lets us know that the light that we display, watch this, the light that we shine will give light to the house. Amen. This is right there in the text. And you do know where Christ's house is, don't you? Amen. Amen. And you say, yeah, Pastor, we in the house right now. No. You can't limit and can find Christ to your four little walls. Amen. I wish I had some better. Your, 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 your little part of Zion. No, the Bible says the earth is the Lord. And, and the full, I wish I had somebody. The fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell in it. We have to let our light shine in the world. Shine on. That others might know Jesus still saves. Shine on. That others might know Jesus still delivers. Shine on that others might know Jesus still heals, mother. Shine on. Take your neighbor, shine on. But I'm about to take my seat. Got to let you know, though, my brothers and my sisters. But Silver, before we can shine on in this world, before we can let the light of Christ shine into the darkness, we have to allow Jesus to shine on in our lives. I wish I had somebody with me on today. We have to say shine on me. I wish I had some help. Shine on me. Let the light. Let the light. Let the light. From the lighthouse. Let it shine. On me. Shine on me. Lord, I need you to shine. Shine on me. On me. I can't make it on my own. I need you to shine. That others might see you through me. Let your light.
Anybody want the light to shine on day? Anybody want the light to shine on you today? And we stand to our feet. Come on, tell them let it shine on you. Shine, 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 shine.